On the long and winding road of robotics research, scientists now believe that if tomorrow's robots are going to share our world with us, they will have to have something extra. An emotional and psychological dimension to help them communicate and respond in ways people can understand. An ability to look you in the eye and smile. At Tokyo Science University, Hiroshi Kobayashi believes that for friendly interchange between people and robots, an expressive face is a necessity. With small cameras in its eyeballs and latex skin moved by wires that contract like muscles, this robot is being built to recognize human expressions and mimic them. Most robots today are no more alive than a pile of wires. And yet when we witness their expressions and see them respond to the world, we begin to glimpse what they may one day become. At Waseda University, Atsuo Takanishi is taking human sensitivity one step further. He's creating a robotic head that can actually respond to sensory information, to light, sound, touch, even to smell. This head robot uses cameras for seeing, a microphone to hear, and sensors under its skin for tactile response. This robot can express human-like emotions with a range of expressions, from fear to surprise, anger to pleasure. It even blushes. Four computers crunch the numbers and draw upon a psychological model to generate the correct response. What are the equations of emotion? The factorials of feeling, of consciousness itself? At MIT, they're trying to find out with a pint-sized creature named Kismet. Hello, Kismet. You gonna talk to me? An experiment in computed behavior, Kismet is an emotion machine designed to seek out a human face and respond to the expression it finds there. Talk gently, and Kismet looks happy. Good job, Kismet. Where'd you put your body? Harden your tone of voice and it frowns. No, no, you're not to do that, no. Uh-uh, that's not appropriate. Kismet has nine emotional states. It may not really be able to feel, but it can provide the right expression for the right situation. We can't help but be drawn in.